I'll turn it over uh, to you, Coach. That's um, certainly uh, uh, it's a lot easier coming in here this Tuesday. Uh, got some things accomplished last week. Uh, made some strides that uh, we had hoped to make earlier, but uh, you know it is what it is. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you this: really, really proud of our football team and the way they competed on the road. But uh, uh, even more proud of our fans and the way they supported us and, and showed up. It was a uh, uh, it was dang near home game for us, and uh, that's exciting when you're in Nashville, Tennessee, and see that many Aggies there. So, um, with that said, uh, I'll uh, start taking questions. All right, Aubrey, open this up. John, what's it going to be like facing a, a defense with so many guys that that you recruited to LSU? And what's your have you con have you been in contact with any of them since you you left LSU? And, and what's that relationship like? Oh, uh, it's it's a good relationship. Obviously, you know we're we're competitors and and we're going to compete. And uh, you know uh, that makes it uh, you know somewhat dif uh, different. I don't say difficult because when it's time to compete, that's what you go do. Uh, a lot of good kids that uh, I really care for and uh, you know uh, wish them the best, but uh, not on this Saturday. And uh, you know. Uh, we're looking forward to getting to Baton Rouge, and uh, you know, uh, uh, obviously, we got a lot of preparation between now and that time, and we want to go in there well prepared, and uh, with the idea that we intend to play well. Go to the right, Gabe, and then Sam. How much better do you think your guys feel going into it, confidence-wise, momentum-wise, coming off a shutout, kind of like a tune-up before going into Death Valley, but to do it with your first shutout in 11 years? Well, I, you know, I think uh, you know our kids were excited about it, and they should be. I mean, you know, those those things aren't easy to come by, and uh, uh, we had some challenges with uh, uh, with Vandy, and uh, certainly, uh, you know, their strength was running the football, and and uh, you know, we uh, uh, we hadn't been very good uh, against the run, but uh, I think our our guys understood what we needed to do to go in there, and and, and obviously, our first goal was to win win the football game. Uh, which we did. Our offense did a great job, you know, moving the ball up and down the field. We had to kick some field goals, but moving the ball and, and keeping possession of it. And uh, we went out there and got stops, you know, when we needed to. Uh, really, really excited about how they play uh, on the back end. It, you know, we continue to be, you know, strong in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, that's been a plus for us all year. And uh, there's been things to build on. Uh, there were some some things that uh, uh, you know helped us in this ball game that I think uh, we got accomplished last week in practice, and that's what we got to do this week. We got to we got to prepare well for a really really fine football team. But certainly, uh, I think they'd be uh, uh, I know they'll be more confident after the shutout. Go to the middle, Sam. To the back, Daryl, and down front, Brent. Do you anticipate any extra emotion walking into Tiger Stadium for the first time since you left? No, I've been there a bunch. Uh, Obviously, spent six years there, but I was in the air bunch before that. Uh, it's SEC football, and you know that's what it's all about. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I'll tell you this: I'm excited about walking in there as an Aggie. To the back, Daryl, and then down front, Brent. Coach, I know that you uh, coached against, or not really coached against, but you saw how Leonard Fournette and that offense worked the last couple of years. How will you try to defend them? Uh, on the Aggie sideline and stop them this week? Well, you know, obviously they're, you know, they're, they're a very fine offensive football team. They put up big numbers last week, didn't score, score a lot of points, but they put up big numbers uh, against uh, an Ole Miss defense. Uh, they had well over 500 yards in total offense. And, uh, you know, they got big playmakers uh, all over the field. Uh, they got a talented quarterback. They, uh, you know, they're getting healthy in the offensive line again. So we'll see a different offensive line than than Ole Miss saw last week. But, hey, that's SEC football. It's big boy football, and uh, you got to bring your A game. If you, uh, if you intend to be in the game, you got to bring your A game, and that's what we're going to prepare to do. Down front, Brent. It's a bit of a mess right now in Baton Rouge. Is this something maybe you even saw coming a year ago, and, and you had some really good timing there? Yeah. You know, <laughs> It's really this is going to be about you know Texas A and M and and LSU on the football field. I don't know what's going on and really you know uh, not concerned with it. I mean uh, you know you, you move on. Uh, I spent six years in in Baton Rouge. I enjoyed my time there. Uh, most of the people were good to me. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, won a conference championship. Went thirteen and zero. A lot of good memories. You know. Uh, but football is football, and as coaches in this business, 
you know you're going to run into some of those situations. And again, I have no idea what's going on, and, and my focus is on Texas A&M and getting them prepared to play this week. Second row there, Olin. Hi, John. Could you uh, speak specifically about the the problems that Leonard presents from your perspective, and just how you think he might stack up against guys like, say, a Derrick Henry? Well, I mean, he's he's easily one of the better, if not the best, back in the country. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from anybody else. And I tell you, the uh, the year that I was around him, he's an outstanding young man. And uh, he's, a, he's a first class act. It's very, very talented. Uh, he's been blessed with a lot of talent. He's worked to make it, uh, you know, work for him. And uh, he, he, he will pose a challenge for anybody that's facing him. Anything else? Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.